Welcome back to the Plant-Based Quick Cooking Show. I'm Karen, coming to you every week from the Center for Plant-Based Living right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, this is this answers the question of how do I roast my vegetables without using any oil? And I'm sick of balsamic vinegar. Okay, I got you. Uh huh. So let's take, you can use any vegetable you want, um, and the more dense the vegetable, the longer the cooking time. So I'm gonna start off with cauliflower because that's pretty dense. And we're gonna make a spicy miso maple dressing. It's gonna be great. All right, let's start off with a little bit of maple syrup and all of the, um, the ratios are in the recipe below. And this is about two and a half tablespoons or so. That's maple. This is rice vinegar. You can find it anywhere. This is coconut aminos. You can use soy sauce, light soy sauce, shoyu, um, uh, Bragg's aminos, whatever you have. But I'm on this coconut aminos kick. And a little bit of hot sauce, whatever you have. I like Cholula. Um, I just happen to have it here at the shop. Uh, but I do like Cholula. Like I like all kinds of different ones. And little craft um, hot sauces are nice too. Whatever you can get your hands on, whatever you like. Now, this is miso. And I'm using a lighter colored miso. So it has a more mild flavor. I like kick that up. Now, mix it all up, whisk, whisk, whisk. And we're just gonna pour it into our cauliflower. This is one entire head of cauliflower, just cut up into semi-large florets. Now you can get in there with your bare hands or you can glove up like I'm going to. And really just get all of the parts nice and coated because we do not want them to burn. They will char a little bit and that's really what we're looking for. Uh, almost like caramelization. That, that uh, maple syrup is gonna help it caramelize. Those sugars are so delicious. All right, now grab a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. And you don't want them swimming in your dressing, just coated. So just kind of filter out your cauliflower and you have it all there on your pan, just in one layer. It's okay if they're touching, but no overlapping, please. And we're gonna put this in the oven. It might take up to about 40 minutes. I'm going to look at them at 30 and then just keep a close eye every two minutes or so because I don't want them to burn. We're ready. Ooh, hot. Oh, they look great. Oh, this nice little charring on the tops. Looks perfect. That's that that caramelization that you can see. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Okay, I know it's going to be hot, but I am going in. Little guy. Mmm. Yeah. It's that nice little caramelization, a little sweet, a little heat. Oh, and that nice little crispy edge. Perfect. It's great. Now, I will tell you that this, um, this recipe has been adapted slightly from Food 52, so I have to give the Food 52 fi uh, folks a shout out. This is a great one. This will definitely enter into my rotation. All right. Well, if you have a recipe for me, send it my way. Seven ingredients or less. Thanks for joining me this week for another episode of the Plant-Based Quick Cooking Show. I'll see you next week. Take good care.